Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let us learn about integers. Now, in previous classes, we have already learned about natural numbers, whole numbers, even numbers and odd numbers. Now, in this video, let us learn about integers. Integers are numbers with positive and negative signs. Now, here in the first line, I have written plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. They are positive integers. Numbers with positive sign are called as positive integers. Similarly, numbers with negative sign that is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 are called as negative integers. So, positive numbers are called as positive integers and negative numbers are called as negative integers. Now, 0, 0 is also an integer but it is neither positive integer nor negative integer. So, we can say that 0 is a neutral integer because it is neither positive nor negative but it is a integer it is a neutral integer so 0 also comes under integers so plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 positive numbers all positive numbers are called as positive integers minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 all negative numbers are called as negative integers and 0 is a neutral integer it does not come under positive or negative but it is also an integer so it is called as neutral integer and here all positive numbers along with zero are greater than negative integers their value is greater than negative integers so here 0 is greater than minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4. So, I hope you all have understood what are integers. Integers are numbers with plus and minus signs along with 0. Now here, this is a number line. Here you can see positive integers and negative integers also. In a number line, you can say that 1 to 10, here 1 to 10, these are positive integers. And minus 1 to minus 10, these are negative integers. Integers with negative signs are called as negative integers. And 0 is a neutral integer. So, this is how we represent integers in a number line. Now, let us mark some of the integers in this num number line. Now, first let us mark plus 5 in the given number line. So, circle plus 5 then draw a line from 0 to plus 5. So, this is how we mark integers in the number line. Now, similarly, in the next question, let us mark minus 7 in the given number line. So, again circle minus 7 and draw a line from 0 to minus 7. So, this is how we mark integers in the given number lines. I hope you all have understood what are integers and how to mark integers in the number line. Thank you for watching.